victory. Doctors performed a pediatric heart and liver transplant, and today the teenager went home. Melissa McCready has this story of inspiration. This marks the 10th pediatric heart and liver transplant ever nationwide, and it happened right here at Children's Hospital. Yes, honey. Keep that Packer shirt on. Thomas Castillo is saying goodbye to one of his heroes, Dr. Stuart Berger, one of many who helped save this 15 year old's life. Is there anything you want to say to your doctors, your nurses? Thank you, Dr. Berger. Thomas was born with complex congenital heart disease and suffered liver failure as a result of the disease. He was put on the heart and liver transplant list early this year. Thomas has been waiting a lifetime, you know, for his heart transplant. I mean, that's all he ever wanted. After suffering a stroke in February, Thomas's grandparents, Santos Marin and Linda Rebellius, has started to lose hope. We were ready to take him home. We were just going to, you know, give up and take him home and deal with his, his stroke. Then on February 29th, a miracle. A large team of physicians and nurses at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin performed the state's first heart liver transplant on a child, the 10th nationwide. These miracles, and it truly is, are only possible because of donor families and organ donation. Now, after more than two years living here at the hospital, Thomas is headed home to Chicago to live the life that every child deserves. He's always been a fighter, and uh, it, it shows. You know, he's still fighting, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to continue. And Thomas says he hopes to become a pediatric cardiologist when he grows up. On your side in Wauwatosa, Melissa McCready, today's TMJ4.